Hey guys, my name is Kaylee and I'm a fashion and portrait photographer. This is my first upload to YouTube. I'll probably add an introduction video sometime later on, but for now I thought I'd just upload a quick tutorial on how to enhance golden hour photographs, or it's basically just a quick edit of one of my own photographs that I've taken. Um, so first off, we just open up Photoshop, obviously. And these are generally the panels that I like to use in Photoshop most of the time, just um, adjustments, layers, uh, color swatches, and history and actions. I like to use actions a lot. Um, so let's just start off with some basic skin editing just on this photo because we just need to remove some of the shadows just on her face. So we'll just zoom into those. And I like to use an action, I'll probably go into this on one of my later tutorials, but I do like to edit skin with a frequency separation action. And I'll probably give you a link at some stage as well to download, but it's a great way to edit skin because it's non-destructive. So to the photograph, so I'll just bring that up, I think my... Okay, so we just bring up a frequency separation action, so we just click play. Okay, okay, and invert, add. As I said, I'll probably add another tutorial on how to do um, frequency separation later on. But for now, we'll just bring that up, do some quick, very, very quick skin editing using the healing brush tool. So we'll just get rid of that shadow just there on her cheek. And as I say, we won't spend too much time on this because the main point of this video is to show tones. So just clean that up a bit. Alright. So that's pretty much all we'll do. We'll just get rid of a couple of spots just there. But this model's got pretty good skin, so there's not too much editing we need to do on there, so which is good. Alright, so once we've done skin editing, I'll just zoom out again for you guys. Alright. We'll go on to doing Alright, we'll go on to doing some dodging and burning. Just quickly, I mean as I said, this is mostly about the toning, so dodging and burning will probably go into detail as well later on. So I'm just going to create a new layer. Overlay for each color. Alright. Just lighten up. I always like to keep separate layers when I'm doing dodging and burning so one for burning one for dodging just in case I need to change anything it's just easier that way um, just lighten that up it's always good to have a history tab just there because yeah the amount of mistakes that I tend to make a lot of the time when I'm editing it's just very handy just that up Highlights, we we'll just use a little bit. I'll just bring that down a little bit, the opacity down just a bit to about 60. So you can see the difference there that it makes. It's quite good. Um, okay, so we'll bring up another layer for burn. Alright, get the burn tool. And we'll just fill in the sides just there. We, that didn't work very well. Just fill in the sides there and there. And we'll just make her eyebrows a little bit darker too. Ooh, that's too dark. And just her lashes as well. Just bring out her eyes a bit more too. Okay. I might actually just bring that dodge layer down just a little bit more to about 45%. We don't want it too unrealistic looking. She does want to look like a doll, I suppose. Um, Alright, so now we can kind of get onto toning. And I like to play around a lot when I'm when I'm using tones. 
Uh, I usually like to, as I said, I like to have the history tab up and I like to take snapshots of my work because it's always good to kind of revert to the original if need be and to, if I've taken a snapshot earlier on, if I need to change anything, it's just quicker. Um, okay, and so yeah, as I was saying with tones, I like to play around a lot with them just to kind of experiment and see what kind of colours I can get. I usually like to do my lighting first, so I've just created another adjustment layer for curves and we're just going to bring that down just a bit to just give it a bit more contrast and really bring out the gold um, since it's golden hour. And just and obviously like with this tutorial it's not going to work for every photo taken in golden hour but any kind of backlit shots like this that aren't too hazy uh, this is good this is good to kind of add a bit of contrast and really bring the yellows out but not too much that it looks overly warm I hope <laughs> and just bring them up a little bit okay so we'll go back to our layers, we've got our curves adjustment layer there. And now we'll start adding some different colours. Now, to add the colours and, and kind of mix and match what tones you'd like, you can add a solid colour in an adjustment layer. And I think for the first colour I'm going to use um, a dark blue. And I'll show you what that will do in just a second. And we'll use screen. So you can kind of see it through. And we'll have that obviously on a lower opacity so it doesn't show through as much. Alright, we'll have that at around 30 I think. Um, and obviously that's a bit too cool but I want to just play around with the tones and then I can set the opacities later on and try and get something different again. So for the second colour I might kind of get a bit of a greeny sort of blue happening. Maybe that colour, it's more green, I think. And we will do a linear burn. And obviously we need that a lot less. So probably just about seven. We only want like a really subtle kind of like change there. And then for the next one, I think I'll go with yellow. More of a warmer yellow. And use multiply so that'll sort of come down on the skin a little bit more. So I'll probably put that at about, mm, about 15. Should do it. And I'm going to add an extra levels layer actually. Well, I don't have an, a levels layer already, I've got a curves layer. It's just easier sometimes to add a bit more contrast if you've got levels instead of going back and sort of changing the curves layer because that can be you know, you can have something good going with that and you don't really want to mess it up too much so it's just kind of good to go with this. Um, yep, that'll kind of do. And so we might even add another curves layer I think to this one just to really just give it a little bit more brightness. Alright. We don't want too much of a change here because it'll start to look really too vibrant and too contrasty and we don't want that. So, I think after curves we might do another colour. Let's just see how that looks. Do maybe a dark purple, maybe a plummy sort of colour. Yep, that'll do. soft light and then bring it down to about 11. Mm, maybe a little bit less. Maybe, mm, maybe about 8. And then we'll just do a bit of a selective colour I think just to get rid of the really bluey tones down here. So we'll go to neutrals. Make sure it's picking up the neutral colours in the photo. And then we will just get rid of a little bit, maybe just one to two. 
and then up the yellow maybe just from out to one mm, that's probably too much for magenta we'll just leave that at zero okay and I think I'm pretty happy with that I'll just take another snapshot and we'll go back to the original that's the original and that's what it looks like now so it's really brought out the sort of warm tones and the yellowness and looks really golden obviously you can tell that it's taken in golden hour and obviously I would save this as a PSD first before I flatten it but just for the sake of this I'm just going to flatten it and I'm going to just do a quick sharpen just to show you that was a sharpening action that I've created by the way it's just something simple but you can probably download one from lots of different sites and just keep it at around 24 25 just to keep it relatively soft and then obviously it I can flatten the image again and yeah there we have it so you can see all the different sort of tones that sort of come into it as I said I like to experiment a lot with tones so yeah I'll just give you before and after again that's before and that's after bit of a change anyway I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I'm hoping to make a few more tutorials in the near future and yeah just click subscribe and I'll see you next time